Hello and welcome along to round four of ETF1 League Season 6. We are at the Circuit Barcelona de Catalunya in Spain for the Spanish Grand Prix. We are entering the European leg of the season. So we're starting in Spain, we'll head to Monaco next and we'll finish up at the classic Silverstone venue. So let's take a look at the driver standings after last round's Australian Grand Prix and Hayden Vald in the lead with 52 points ahead of Solomon Fakri who moves up to second and Liam Jensen tumbling down to third position after missing out on the last Grand Prix. So it's pretty tight there between second and fourth with only two points separating three drivers. And let's take a look at the constructor standings and Ferrari in first position 79 points ahead of Aston Martin and a fast charging Red Bull up to third place ahead of Mercedes and McLaren. So let's take a look at the track layout for this venue which has changed slightly with the chicane in the last sector being removed and returning to the classic layout of the circuit. And Nathan Kennedy, the double winner here, winning in seasons one and three. Kane Hoggard winning for Haas in season two. And last season's winners were Hayden Veld and Liam Jensen. So let's take a look at the qualifying results for the upcoming Spanish Grand Prix. And Liam Tipping puts his Red Bull on pole position in front of Peter Morgan, lining his Mercedes up in second place. And Solomon Fakri, third position for Ferrari. In front of Trent Fuller, who lines up on the second row of the grid out qualifying Chris Paderjack start fifth for Ferrari and Blake Williamson and McLaren getting disqualified during qualifying so let's take a look at the highlights from the Spanish Grand Prix the lights are out at the Spanish Grand Prix and Liam Tipping leads the drivers into turn one Trent Fuller gets the overtake done on Solomon, outbreaking him into turn one and getting up to P3. And after starting at the back of the grid, Blake Williamson moves up to P5, overtaking Chris Paderjack's Ferrari. It's lap six and the drivers are ready to go after a safety car period. The safety car was brought out after Trent Fuller crashed on the main straight at the start of lap four as he was defending from Solomon Fakri. The Aston Martin driver was defending third place at the time. The drivers are off, and Chris Paderjack and Blake Williamson having a close fight on track. Peter Morgan had a good view of the action behind Chris's Ferrari, who found himself in last place after pitting during the safety car. Up the front of the grid, Red Bull versus Ferrari, Liam tipping and Solomon Buckley having an epic battle for first. It's lap 15 and the battle between Ferrari and McLaren continues between Chris Paderjack and Blake Williamson. Chris Paderjack's Ferrari ran a low downforce setup in the race. He was struggling through the corners but was really quick on the straight. But he will find himself in a bit of trouble at the entry of pit lane. It's hit the wall and you can see the wing flying across the screen. Let's check out the onboard footage as it happened. Okay, oh mate, don't God. worry about the damage. I've got some new strategy options if you go and check your MFD. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking. Chris was able to continue pace. and get to his pit box, but the safety car was triggered. Of an it's come out while the marshals cleared the damage at pit entry. Track. Safety car is being deployed. <laughs> Taking advantage of the safety car, the leaders pit for new tyres. 
Song of Fakri in second. Start lap 21 under the safety car. The field is bunched up and ready for the final leg of the race. And there are the remaining five competitors all in a row behind the safety car. And on lap 22, the race begins. The top three, Liam, Solomon and Peter, fighting it out. Down the field in 4th and 5th position, the fight between McLaren and Ferrari continues. With Chris Paddajak being able to use the low downforce to his advantage and overtake the McLaren on the straight. But the McLaren would get the Ferrari back in the corners later on in the lap. With two laps to go, Chris is struggling to keep the Ferrari through the corners with the low downforce, and the McLaren just behind him. Chris Paterjack lost the rear of the car into turn two, the car almost spinning out, allowing Blake to get past. As he crosses the line, in fourth position. As we take a look at the podium finishes for the race, Liam Tipping in first place, Peter Morgan in second, Solomon Fakri in third. Yep, done. Trifecta. Yeah. Yeah, no, we had two, two now, so yeah. So Liam Tipping takes his first victory of the season and Red Bull second after Hayden Veld won at the last round in Australia. And Liam Tipping also takes driver of the day after taking pole position and getting the fastest lap of the race. Now let's take a look at the full race results. Look at Peter Morgan, he made four pit stops and he's doing four laps on the hard tyres. Still managed to finish second in front of Solomon. And Blake Williamson, finishing in fourth position despite having eight seconds worth of penalties, finishes ahead of Chris Paterjack. And Trent Fulight DNF'd early on in the race after defending from Solomon's Ferrari. Unfortunately, uh, clipped the Ferrari and then clipped the wall. The Aston Martin driver was running in third. As we take a look at the driver's championship after round four, and Peter Morgan is in the lead, one point ahead of Solomon Fakri. First and second, that's a big shake up. And Hayden Veld. Dropping down to third place. Chris Paterjack in fourth is just ahead of Liam Jensen, who tumbles down to fifth after missing out on the Spanish Grand Prix. And Liam Tipping shoots up to seventh place after his victory and pole position and fastest lap. As we take a look at the constructor standings, and Ferrari still in the lead, 104 points ahead of Red Bull, 91 points, and Mercedes now move up to third position. Aston Martin coming down to fourth place. McLaren. So that's it for the Spanish Grand Prix here at the Circuit Barcelona de Catalunya. We're going to leave you with a photo montage of the Grand Prix and we'll be back for the next round, round five in Monaco for the Monaco Grand Prix.